Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ and guests. Vicki here, coming to you from South East Central Kansas. It's time for the Washroom Report. Hello, everyone. Hope everyone's having a blessed day. Uh, today's date, May 26th, 2022. And the time is 2.54 Central Standard Time in the afternoon. Let's get into it, shall we? Delegations from Armenia and Azerbaijan meet on their international border in a choreographed, choreographed, <laughs> step toward ending a 30-year dispute over the ethnic Armenian enclave. Okay. Now remember, Iran has claimed that Azerbaijan is their beloved, okay? And we are members of the Pride Tribe. <laughs> Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Even so, come, Lord Jesus, come. The Spirit and the Bride say, come. Somebody said, who in the heck would take the barrel of monkeys thing after witnessing all the negative effects that the other thing has had on so many people? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. And whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 27, 12. Oh, yes, I beg to differ as well. On the eve of destruction, one Klaus Schwab pledges the world can find salvation at Davos 2022. Uh, only Jesus can save us. Amen. He was crucified exactly as the scriptures proclaim for the sins of the world. He was dead. He was laid in rich man's tomb. And God the Father raised him from the dead on the third day exactly as the scriptures proclaim. Put your faith, hope, love, and blessed assurance in him and him alone. For he is coming quickly to remove his people off the face of this earth. This happened. Came out yesterday. IDF deploys Iron Dome and prepares for attack plans in case of rocket fire from Gaza on Jerusalem Day. Now... This is interesting, and I will point it out to you because we have little time. This would be your great tribulation force with their logo. See it? Backward six. Backward six. Three legs on one side, three on the other. Six, six, six. The number of the beast. Okay. Yeah. A brother in Christ wrote this. And the great tribulation starts, and it's about to happen at any moment, because the church, the bride of Christ, has to be removed so that the Antichrist, a.k.a. Satan and his legions, the false prophet, and the Antichrist will have their way. You will be placed into camps, beheaded and forced injections if Americans ever give up their rights to keep and bear arms. Think about it, my fellow Americans.
the Biden administration drained another 40 million barrels of crude oil from the U.S. Strategic Petroleum Reserve. I wonder where that's going. Okay. Now this man, Yuval Noah Harari, he is a Jew, okay? He is a very wicked man. He is part of this WEF. And I'm going to allow you to hear what he has to say about humanity. Humans, the use. Hold on. Yep. Full entities in the world. After thousands of years, during which humans were the rulers of the of the world, authority and power will shift away from humans to computers, and most humans will become economically useless and politically powerless. Already today, we are beginning to see the creation of a new class of humans, the useless class. Just as the Industrial Revolution in the 19th century created the new working class, the proletariat, so now the artificial intelligence revolution is beginning to create the useless class. All entities in the world. The useless class. Humans are now useless. Okay. Water. Okay. The Jerusalem Day flag march will limit the attendance at the Damascus Gate at the Western Wall. Israel said to appeal to Hamas for calm ahead of tense flag parade in Jerusalem. It shouldn't be tense to be able to wave the flag of the nation of Israel in your own land, okay? U.S. slapped sanctions on Hamas money men funding $500 million in terror through a finance network. Two Iranian pilots were killed when their fighter jet crashes. This is all in the last day. And, oh yes, Nasrallah of Lebanon. Damage to Alaska will lead to explosion. Direct quote. Dozens of Lebanese demonstrate near the border fence. IDF fires tear gas at them. Get back. Get away. Oh, joy, I hear more rain. It's been raining for days, okay? And then, a Palestinian fired at an IDF checkpoint, hitting an Israeli vehicle, but thankfully, no one was injured. Then, this happened yesterday, Hawara becomes a fortified sleeve. Dozens of jeeps and fighters are deployed to the access guest in order to calm the winds. Guess what? There's Unprecedented, right? Oh, and yes. Guess who was speaking at the World Economic Forum? Forum? Yes, indeed. <laughs> President Isaac Herzog. Israel. Telling you guys, they're all up in it. In it like Bennett, but I ain't in it. Amen. <laughs>
we're going home. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Lost my spot. There's so much going on. It is just incredible. At least 14 people have been killed in a series of explosions in Afghanistan, says the Taliban. He was at a mosque. All righty. Now, the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem ha prohibits U.S. government employees and their families to visit the old city on Sunday, the date of Jerusalem Flag Day. Mossad, Israel, operates inside Iran with growing intensity, according to estimates by Mideast and Western Intel. Cleared for publication, 150,000 soldiers serve in Israel's Regular Army, plus tens of thousands of career officers. IDF can call up hundreds of thousands of reserve forces at times of war. Exact number is classified. Ex-Israeli defense officials warn to avoid visits to Turkey for fear of being targeted by Iran and turkey i added that okay they are not their friends either one officials in israel have told the u.s the killing of the irgc's hassan sayad uh Kodai was uh meant as a warning to iran to halt the operations of a covert group within the Quds Force known as Unit 84, 840 or 840D. Okay. Tasnim is reporting an industrial accident that took place at a factory in Parshin in Iran. More explosions. Okay. This came out due to the fear, and this is from the Palestinian factions. I figured out that guy we was talking about uh, before in videos. I wasn't sure whose side he was on. He does live uh, in eastern Israel. Unreal. But anyway, due to the fear of firing from Gaza, the IDF will strengthen its air defense systems in preparation for Jerusalem Day. The U.S. Embassy is banning. We already went through that. Okay. An explosion yesterday was heard in the northeastern Gaza Strip, cause unknown. And the U.N. says that in Afghanistan, 1.1 million children under the age of five will likely face the most severe form of malnutrition this year as increasing numbers of hungry, wasting away children flowing into the hospital wards. Yeah, because everybody pulled out, told Taliban, take the reins. Now ISIS is up in there. Really? They're so wicked. I just can't stand it anymore. Also, in France, police dismantled a camp housing hundreds of migrants near Dunkirk in the northern France after one person was killed and three wounded in suspected score settling between smugglers. France's authorities charge an 18-year-old man on suspicion of planning an imminent terror attack with a knife in the name of ISIS. Hundreds of protesters from a radical leftist party in South Africa march on the French embassy in Pretoria to demand that France leave Africa. I agree. 
Iran's foreign ministry summons the chief of Greece's diplomatic mission for allegedly seizing cargo from a vessel flying the Iranian flag in Greek waters. Iraqi aviation authorities have been left red-faced after a 10-year-old boy on his own boarded an Iran-bound plane from the international airport in uh, Najaf City after going through several security checks. Okay, and I guess that 10-year-old boy's in Iran. And the Swiss. Gotta love the Swiss, right? Pharmaceutical giant Roche says it has come up with PCR tests that can detect the barrel of monkeys in a pox. As the virus is spreading in endemic countries, Lebanon's powerful intel chief says he is working to mediate between the U.S. and Syria on the release of at least six American hostages, including one journalist, Austin Tice. Never even knew we had hostages in Lebanon. Unsurreal, right? The defense establishment warns, this is in Israel, don't change the course of the flag parade at the last minute. Yeah, they wanted to change the course of the flag uh, parade on Sunday because we wouldn't want to hurt the feelings of Alaska. They're peoples. They want to kill us. Then, yeah, this is getting heated. Security sources, angry, Israel, angry and demanding explanations for the American leak on the RGC assassination by the Mossad, okay? <laughs> Yesterday, Benny Gantz, I mean, the whole Knesset is in complete and utter uproar, okay? Because you cannot rule a divided, I mean, we see it here in the United States, but this is different. This is Israel. This is God's land, okay? And they've done the same exact thing as we've done, and pretty much the whole world is done. Because what happens is they come in peacefully oh we just want to help you know and then they stand behind our laws our constitution okay while they're constantly throwing out one-sided wickedness okay anywho i get digress now benny gantz he's screaming and yelling swearing along with the opposition, the Muslim Brotherhood, okay, another day at the Knesset in Israel. Three hours ago, Benny Gantz put out this uh, tweet, chirp, chirp, the unilateral investigation and the attempts to accuse IDF soldiers of war crimes while promoting false Investigations such as the one that was published on CNN, listen, undermine the ability to achieve peace and stability in the region and give a boost to terrorism. And this is about the Arab, aka Palestinian journalist whom the PA refused to give the bullet to Israel so they could check it for forensics testing to see, okay, well, the whole world now is blaming and 
like I told you before, that it was sent to the ICC, Inter International Crimes Court for War Crimes, okay? And they're all jumping on it. Three hours ago, Israel responds to U.S. The flags parade a 30-year tradition and the route will not change because the U.S. is the one demanding, okay, demanding these things. The factions in Gaza are on alert. Flag parade an explosive barrel that will blow up the area, okay. There was a fire destroyed 20 tons of clothes and blankets donated in Greece for war-hit Ukrainian refugees. Yeah, a Carnival cruise ship, there was a funnel fire, okay, Turks and, uh, Turks and Caicos. Um, Carnival Cruise Line. Then, in maritime uh, news, a container with, um, it was a container barge, you know, with the very large containers, uh, lost 12 of its containers into the sea. I forgot where it was, so we'll just in Singapore, okay, would have food, supplies at all, just mysteriously, you know. At least four people have been killed and more than 30 injured at a Yemen fish market when an explosive device planted in a trash can detonated. Police in the port city of Aden reported. And your World Economic Forum, they're going to revert to January for its 2023 annual meeting in the Swiss ski resort of Davos after moving to the spring for the first time due to the pandemic. <laughs> I have to share this because, yeah, no. If you think for one second I'm going to surrender my guns to a government that doesn't think twice about slaughtering a helpless baby, you've absolutely lost your damn mind. And known famed actor one Ray Liotta, best known for being in Goodfellas and the Field of Dreams, has perished at the age of 67. And let us read Revelation 5 together, my brethren. I love you guys. The Lamb opens the scroll. And I saw a scroll in the right hand of the one who was sitting on the throne. There was writing on the inside and the outside of the scroll, and it was sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel who shouted with a loud voice, Who is worthy to break the seals on this scroll and unroll it? But no one in heaven or on the earth, or under the earth, was able to open the scroll and read it. Then I wept, because no one could be found who was worthy to open the scroll and read it. But one of the twenty-four elders said to me, Stop weeping, look, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the heir to King David's throne, has conquered. He is worthy to open the scroll and break its seven seals. I looked and I saw a lamb that had been killed but was now standing between the throne and the four living beings and among the twenty-four elders. 
He had seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God that are sent out into every part of the earth. He stepped forward and took the scroll from the right hand of the one sitting on the throne. And as he took the scroll, the four living beings and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb. Each one had a harp, and they held gold bowls filled with incense, the prayers of God's people. And they sang a new song with these words, You are worthy to take the scroll and break its seals and open it. For you were killed, and your blood has ransomed people for God from every tribe and language and people and nation. And you have caused them to become God's kingdom and his priests, and they will reign on the earth. Then I looked again, and I heard the singing of thousands and millions of angels around the throne, and the living beings, and the elders, and they sang in a mighty chorus, The Lamb is worthy, the Lamb who was killed. He is worthy to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And then I heard every creature in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and in the sea. They also sang blessing and honor and glory and power belong to the one sitting on the throne and to the Lamb forever and ever. And the four living beings said, Amen. And the 24 elders fell down and worshiped God and the Lamb. God bless the reading of his word. Amen. And the spirit and the bride say again. I love you guys. Maranatha.